Hey, what's up guys? It's TJ here and welcome to the weekly featured add-on. It's going to be on my channel, Wildstar Core, and my website, it's tj.com. First add-on I'm going to be going over is Forge UI. Now, I've been asked about my UI while I stream on my YouTube videos all the time. I get asked about my UI. It's very minimalistic, which I love about um, Forge UI. And it's just nice and clean. It's, it's great on the resources as well. So... Let's get into it. Let's just uh, start pulling up menus here. So we're going to open up Forge UI here in, in Escape, and this is your main Forge UI interface menu. You have, uh, let's just go go through these all these items. So we have our unlock elements, save settings, reset settings. We also have a couple quick tips here. So right click on a color box to show a color mixing, uh, a color wheel, um, changing, we're changing mount recall potions. Use right click. Um, if your saving settings doesn't work, reset all settings, and then let them know. It's a bug. So they have support, great support. They are updating all the time. I literally just downloaded an update that was a bunch of fixes for bugs um, right before this video. So they are constantly updating it, and it is an, a great all-encompassing UI. So we'll just go through the tabs right now um, on the left hand side here. We're going to go through them one by one and kind of discuss them. This is going to be kind of a longer video than most of the videos are probably going to be considering this is a very, very in-depth um, big add-on. It's just a big add-on pack. So we'll start out with home. We did that already. We'll start out with general. So here we can break, pick our colors that is going to show for uh, classes in the game so generally i pretty much leave this default it kind of goes with what, what wildster is already so it's a it's a good thing to just leave this default unless you want everyone to be the same i like everyone standing out um themes so eventually there are going to be themes that third-party app developers or add-on developers can make and third party or um, that carbine add-ons can make so this this section will be if there's going to be anything that gets reskinned that's not currently a part of Forge UI. So hopefully we get some cool stuff in here to universalize the theme. Uh, it would be great to see a quest log eventually make its way into here. But um, yeah, until then, we're stuck with this quest log. But um, I digress. So let's move on to action bars. So we basically have our show hotkeys, which is our general action bars down here. We also have a left action bar or a right action bar there and so we have a couple couple sidebars that we can show or not show depending on what we want to do to get back you just click on home again um, Moving down we got our float text, which is basically our damage text It's a whole lot different on Forge UI than it is on normal Wildstar It's actually a cleaner font easier to read in my opinion, and it, it looks pretty good So you can actually adjust thresholds if you want to only see certain amounts of damage or certain bigger damage or bigger heals only or you know however you want to work that um then we can move on to cast bars the cast bars we have smooth smooth bars um you can change your colors here your moment of opportunity bar is purple by by default you can change that if you'd like to you can show your focus this cast bar you can show your targets cast bar um and you can show cast icons duration um, you, your non-interruptible targets will be red. Your your actual interruptible targets will be blue, I believe. Um, that might be in a different section, but yeah. So um, and you can center all the text and all that kind of stuff. So it's really, really, really customizable. Um, resource bars. So these are going to be your suit power or your um, or your uh, rage or whatever. Um, so you have your colors, you can show resources, you can smooth your bars, background colors. Obviously I'm a stalker, my colors are purple. Um, center the text value if you want to. Uh, we have our sprint dash meter. Um, these are pretty standard, it's just the color. A lot of these are just adjusting colors and, and stuff like that. We'll get into the major customization meat and potatoes um, here in a second, but um, move down to unit frames. So we have our unit frames, which are the frames down here. So if I hit F1, that's my target. Um, if I set, I don't know if I, I can set focus on myself apparently. So I got set focus. Um, that's your set focus frame. You have your target frame. 
your target of target frame and your focus frame. And you can do all kinds of customization there as well. Um, you can also make it to where it uses a gradient. So if you're, as your health gets lower, um, it turns to a different color. So you can do that. It's kind of a nice indicator of, my cat's running around. It's kind of a nice indicator of um, when you're starting to really lose health. It's a nice visual cue. Um, moving on, we got our mini map. We can show everything that we want to see on our mini map. We can uncheck or recheck things as we see fit. And then nameplates. Nameplates are the fancy little things that go over your head with your bars and everything. So you have a lot of options here. You can show friendly players. Um, you can pick your general, so you can use all these kinds of fancy settings. You can change your, your shield and your absorb colors. Um, you can do your style, so you can do modern or classic. The classic has the shield underneath. Modern has this kind of little, like, little bit off to the side. Um, if you are on your target, then uh, you can show your names, always, bars, if you want to show the bars of people that are your targets, if you want to show casts, show marker, uh, player, this would be yourself. So if you want to show guild, I can. you can never show guild, or you can always show guild, or only in combat. Um, you can also sh choose to show your level, your class, or both here. Um, I like to show both, kind of just is, is nice. Um, you can do the same thing for friendly player, hostile player, Party player, all kinds of stuff. You're even pets, you can kind of, you can kind of mess around with there as well. So that's basically the general overview of all the settings that we have. Now, the meat and potatoes of, of Forge UI, where you can really get in and really dig deep and do some major customization, is when you click the Unlock Elements button. In this section, you have access to every single element that Forge UI puts into place. So you have your, your, all your hotkeys, you have everything here. Um, your target bar, your focus cast bar, your interrupt armor on both of them, your interrupt armor on yourself and, and your target frame and your focus frame. You have all kinds of stuff that you can move around. Everything can be resized. You can move things pixel by pixel. You can also show a grid if you want to and you can adjust that grid to whatever, whatever size you want. So if you want a 10 by 10 grid, you can do that. And you can adjust things pixel by pixel and size by size. So that's a major upside to this UI. I think the only thing, the one feature that I would be really hoping for, and I believe it's in the pipeline for this, for this is a profile uh, system where you can save your profile um, and apply it to another character and automatically import all the UI settings that you changed to another character. You can do that in the background. You just have to copy the the, um, the system file from your add-on folder and move it into the, the other character's profile. You can do that and it does work. Um, I might do a little update, um, like an in-depth video, super in-depth video to show how to do that, but that's more in Windows and less in game. So I kind of wanted to stick to just the, func the functionality that exists in the UI or that exist in the add-on, and hopefully we get some updates that bring those features into the front end to where users can, can experience that. That would be awesome. So guys, this has been a quick overview and an insight into Forge UI. If you have any suggestions for add-ons that you want to see on this show, definitely leave a comment down below. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, and yeah, definitely leave a comment down below that that uh, if you have any add-ons that you'd really like to review or get reviewed or, or to get showed off or featured. All right, guys, thanks for watching the episode, and I will see you next week. See ya.